it's so magical. Turkeys! Oh yes, I just went into the water right in front of me. There it is. Check this out. This is the kind of environment that I hang out in. So I make my way back to uh, the fire, the, the, the tour of the fire mountain or something like that. But I'm not there yet, I'm like at uh, 8 kilometers from there. And there was this truck in front of me that seemed like it was not moving. So I, you know, uh, I have all the time in the world to look around and I look to my right. And I see rocks and it looked like a, like an amazing waterfall in the mountain. And I was able to park my car and I'm going to go check it out. I think this is like, it, it seems like it's really, really beautiful. And I need to give it a shot. So uh, it's like somewhere in that area. Oh, and it's like a 90 degree... A cliff that I go down, you know, and I know that I need to gonna I, I, I know I'm gonna need to go back up But you know, I hold myself with trees to go down But I truly believe that this is worthy to be close to it It's a waterfall that go down the mountain So all the water that is there the river it's source water and I need to go down there. So uh, even how steep the hill is, I need to go close of that because this is really magical. I can feel it. This is so awesome. A wild waterfall, not a tourist attraction. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, I want so much to go in the water. Uh, well, I don't know. Ice, ice, cold water, but I need to, I need to do it. It's such an epic moment. Ooh, la, 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 la. Wow, eh? Wow. So after this epic waterfall, I went to St. Remy of Amherst and that's where there is a mountain where I can climb on top and on top there is an old tower of fire and that's what you're gonna see next. To the top, to the top, to the top now. I just arrived on top here. And this is the Tower of Fire. 
and the view it's amazing take a look uh not even one kilometer to come here but steep all the way uh, with water mud and rocks and like uh before I come here i meet a woman in the store and she say to me oh don't worry you don't gonna be cold i'm sweating and uh well here there is something special oh there it is there is a um right there you know, and she told me the story about that. There was a mine here, and uh, it's a, a mine that caused cancer, and uh, it killed everyone in the mine, and then they shut the mine. But if something was wrong, um, they used this tower to warn the people. That's what she says. That makes sense, but I don't know uh, in which time. Uh, this was there uh, but uh, well let's go check it out wow I reached the top of the tower of the fire the tower of fire so beautiful another top of the mountain under my belt I climbed so many mountains. I love it so much. Ah, it's always a new experience. And uh, what I understand is that each mountain helps you to heal something in your life. So I noticed that this thing here, they use this as a 5G tower. I check my phone and this is full of radiation yeah so yeah you cannot climb on top oh yeah there is a ladder but uh, you know when you know that this this thing it's a 5G tower. Definitely you don't want to do a picnic here. Okay, so... You know, it was uh, predictable that uh, on top of that mountain they put a 5G system in place and what was on top? Brainwash family doing a picnic next to the 5G smoking cigarettes with the smoke and the and the, the the fume of the cigarette in the in the face of the kids and you know like a, and i i look at them and i don't even speak to them because uh these are really really dark entity uh, a dark entity family though so uh yeah me i take a picture and that's it uh, and i'm out of here yeah, you know, it's not like the big, big tower, you know, but uh, they are uh, still uh, certain things on top, a couple of them, like, uh, and uh, that's enough to uh, cause a um, problem. So, uh, yeah, um, Definitely, uh, I understand why there is not too many people coming here. Uh, this is really not cool what they do. Put 5G thing on top of a, a public mountain like that. Uh, they should. They, it should. Be, they, it should have a law that uh, stop this from happening. For real. 
this is uh, this is wrong, and uh, that's what I have to say about that. The view was great on top, but you know I climbed so many mountains that you know. But uh, yeah, the darkness of the 5G, the darkness of the family there, it was like really uh, like a, not a cool vibe at all. But uh, you know. I, I don't know what to say uh, else, you know. I just know that um, uh, the invasion of the dark entity uh, is caused by the 5G. And uh, yeah, so like you see, like uh, what pollute everywhere it's the dark entity it's attached to people that are addict to the the radiation of the 5g you see me if i was addict i i wouldn't i would i would stay there and i would like talk to the people and you know dark entity talk to each other and and i arrive there and mm -mm, at all at all so uh yeah um but uh you know um i uh i have a feeling that there was some people on top uh because i check in the car next to mine and they i see a uh, tim Horton coffee and this is poison so uh you know i i knew that uh, and i i pass uh, a, a previous family and uh, like I speak to them and it was in harmony and everything with two kids and you see there was one good family and there was one bad family so uh, yeah and there was me you know so uh, yeah that's what's up right now but uh, me I'm getting out of here but uh, it was a you know an extreme climb like extreme like extreme a short extreme climb but it was it seems like it was necessary and uh, you know I, uh, I need to remember that it's the mountain that shows you so, uh, and uh, just before I see this family, I I was saying that, uh, what I was saying, oh, anyway, uh, oh yeah, each mountain that you climb, it's something that you uh, heal. It helps you heal certain wounds. So, uh, yeah, and uh, you know, just before climbing that mountain, uh, you know, I meet that woman, and I, I, I have, like, she highlight that she was a, a dark witch before. You know, she was wishing bad things to people, and like, uh, we all can relate to her because like there is like in this crazy world that we live in there is so many things that make us upset in our past or even now that we wish things to the people but this like what i understand is that we are um, it's it's black magic it's black witch we when when we do that we are black witch so um why because in past life we were black witch we we we, we were not a, a a light witch we are we are always was a black witch so that's why uh, when you uh, detox yourself and you become organic everything it's weird 
and you're not used to and it's fate into the unknown why it's so like you don't remember you know? and it's you need to trust and you need to be guided because you never experienced this before like you were never awake like you were never a light witch so now you learn to be a light witch you learn to be a wizard and that's why it's so hard to uh, wish uh, positive things in this world and it's more easy to wish bad things it's because well we we are on a planet that you know was in the darkness since the beginning since um ada and eve so uh it's um it's not a curse planet but it's like like i said it's the graveyard of the devil lucifer and satan and like uh, since the 21 december 2020 since the great conjunction it's the end of the graveyard of those and uh, god uplift the vibration of earth and um, everyone include animals and everything but the human have a problem to adapt and uh, they create resistance like with the 5g you know like this is the dark force of the world governed by the devil satan and lucifer that put this in place to keep people mind uh, mind control uh, to stay in the darkness because they don't want to leave they don't want to die but god says now it's over it's like it, they're gonna remove them from earth and it's gonna be heaven on earth eventually um yeah uh, so you know uh, it's the great awakening for those who awake and detox their themselves or it's the great reset for those who wish to die uh, uh, well what I what I mean is that they they don't change you know they stay in the the darkness they keep feeding the evil inside of them I want you to see I want you to see how extreme it is mud steep downhill now definitely it's the expert mountain You know, this just came up because I debunk the truth about what happened on top. Um, it's like, I, and I'm so connected that uh, it's like uh, because I debunk and I expose light to a problem, like uh, I, I pass uh, one woman and two guys with all, they have all different kind of dogs. And I, I say all hi to them and they were really connected, I can feel it. And they were like on a mission, like to, uh, like uh, they, they're gonna do a mission, like, but it's because uh, I expose the reality of what ha is happening on top of the mountain. So that's how quick I can manifest when I expose the darkness into the light. And this is really cool. Just before starting to climb the mountain, there is the beautiful waterfall right there. Are you surprised? And then there was 
the family of light that was still there and there was a huge group of people of my age and there was some people all mixed together and I don't know what to think about that but I know one thing, one thing highlight from that group there was a black man all dressed in orange and orange is creativity oh. and um, the first woman of the group she smiled at me and she was so cool and um, yeah like it, it was a mixed match of people and uh, it was really like and like when they start walking on the bridge i start walking on the bridge and we cross paths it was really special and one woman says to me how are you you know and i wish them have a great hike and they say are oh, you too like it was great you know but uh, that was really unexpected but there was many beautiful women in that group and I was really happy about that. So in the parking, just before I leave, I need to show you this. Well, you cannot see now. Well, I gonna... It's working. Oh. Okay, check this out. Zero 09. Next to the zero 09. Synchronicity. And... Next to my car, like uh, the other numbers don't highlight, and um, this one is the new Earth in the ninth dimension. Like it was important that uh, I climb that mountain and that I debunk, you know, uh, the 5G tower on top. Oh, wait a minute. It's three in the afternoon. I just received a phone call of Anne, and. She meet Alexandra and the musketeer, um, and like we've been talking on the phone for I don't know how long. That happened right away when I when I I came down of the mountain, and this is like uh, whoa man, what is going on? Like uh, and. Now they gonna rent an Airbnb and we all gonna go there together and we make we gonna make a fire and we gonna like whoa uh, what just happened what did I just manifest <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go shoot some alt court shot right now and I'm gonna meet them in Mont Tremblant uh, yeah so um, okay. So what I'm gonna show you right now is gonna blow you your mind. <laughs> like I am in Brebeuf right now. This is the second time that I come here. I say second, but it seems like it's like maybe third time. 
So, well, anyway, check it out. I'm on the beach in Brebeuf and if it was not from the cold wind I would go in the water but it's so cold man it's so cold the wind but it's so beautiful today like look at this like the water glitching oh it's so nice Oh yes, I just went into the water, the cold water with the cold wind and I say, hey, this is a paradise beach. I need to do, I need to do it. I need to cleanse myself. I didn't take my shower today, so hey, I need this and I have such an amazing day, high vibration that I can handle this and I can even record before drying myself like i need to park my car and i need to take a moment of how amazing where i am right now is okay 360 degrees check this out So in the story, um, finally, um, Alexandra and the musketeer uh, did not come, but Anne come and um, she just cleansed herself into source water uh, on a beach. And it's the first time ever that I, that we go there, but me, I didn't go a second time, like, and the sun is not there, it's windy, it's cold, and she have the courage to do it, and she did it skinny dipping, so uh, congrats to her, she got lots of uh, coronas, <laughs> and uh, now we're uh, going to eat a uh, salad, it's just that I don't know where. Turkeys! And there is a white one right there, first time. Wow. Wild turkeys! In the unknown. Unknown. Cool. So after this, we cook our supper on the fire. It was really good. We we well, I don't want to say too much because this is gonna be a part of another. Uh, road trip uh, you know uh, so uh, but uh, Anne sleep in her car I sleep in my car we have a great time and uh, that's how this road trip to Suffolk and well you know like if you understand like this is part two okay uh, and it's day two so you gotta understand uh, day one like the road trip was to go as far as I can and I went to Suffolk, okay? And day two was I was on my way back 
uh, you know, instead of going more deep into the north, I went more close and that's where I meet Anne and everything. But uh, that lead to another road trip and that's what you're gonna see eventually. But uh, definitely uh, before see uh, other day after that, uh, you're gonna see day one. You wanna see day one, how do I get to Suffolk, <laughs> you know? And uh, like many things happen, many epic performance happen. Um, so stay tuned for that. Oh yes. That's how we do Chicky Killip South.